Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an axis using a mock motion Apollo 3 motion controller. Uh, first thing we're going to do is make sure that the axis is enabled. So go in here to config, ports and pins, the motor outputs, and we're setting up the X axis here. And it is enabled. Other than the enable checkbox on the motor outputs tab, none of the other fields matter. It, the Apollo 3 doesn't actually even look at them, so they can be set to whatever you want. We default them to zero and have both of the step direction and direction level active uh, checkboxes set to red. Um, now that we've got the axis enabled, we should have motion. So I'll clear the reset, and then I'm going to jog the x-axis there. You can see it moving. So it's not scaled to what I want right now. So I'm going to come up here to config, and then motor tuning. And in this case, I'm, I know that my steps per is 125,000. Then I'm going to hit save axis settings and I'm going to set my velocity to 200 and an acceleration at 40 is good and hit OK. So now that's a positive move and that's a negative move. Exact same speed, it's going a lot farther. So that's correct. So now the next step is um, I'm going to change the direction. So um, on this, it's a, just a test stand, so the direction doesn't actually matter. Um, but for a lot of the systems, you want the axis to go a certain way and all. To reverse the direction, you go to config, then homing slash limits. And then here, we're, since we're setting up the x-axis, you'll check the reversed. Now, if you have the latest version of the Apollo 3 plugin, you're done here. This is all you have to do, and that's it. If you have an older version, you'll get a following error if you try to run it at this point. And so you'll have to go to config, config plugins, and then click on the config next to the Hikon line here. And then that brings up the, the Apollo 3 Hikon plugin. And then on whatever channel you're on, so x-axis is going to be channel zero, you'll switch the hardware encoder polarity. Now again, uh, with the new plugin, this doesn't is not necessary. And so it will automatically detect that. So in this case, I'm not going to change it, but if I was going, did need to, I would hit update Hikon here, system configuration downloaded, and then hit okay, and close out of those. So now my axis is reversed, and I'm gonna run it here. So there's positive, and there's negative. The last step for configuring an axis is defining which direction it goes when it homes. So uh, when you hit, to, so to change that, you go to config, homing slash limits, and here we've got our reversed, but then if you want to change the end of the axis that it homes at, so say it homes over on this corner of your table, and you want it to home over here, you would hit the home negative, and it won't reverse the axis, all it will do is change the direction that it goes to home, um, and that will automatically change that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to find out more about us, you can visit us at mockmotion.com and feel free to watch our other videos.